Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin Brooke and I am a hairstylist and salon owner in Western North Carolina. And today we're going through my Notion tour and exactly how I use Notion to organize my life as a hairstylist. If you're interested in videos like this, then I post twice a week, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And without further ado, let's jump into how I do my Notion. All right, so we're going to jump on over into my Notion, and this is going to show you pretty much my life dash from the homepage. So this is the page that pops up when I very first opened Notion on my computer, and there is an app that you can use for your phone as well that I use to quickly jot things down, and I'll show you guys that here in a little bit, but basically when you get to my daily hub, I have just like my little first dashboard that pops up here. So this is going to have my goals for the month on the left-hand side, so at the beginning of April, Every month part of my new monthly routine is I'm going to put my goals on the left hand side and then I'll have the clock so I know what time it is for the day if I'm working on the computer and then over here is typically just like a little quote that is not working at this current moment and then you can also put music that you can play while you work as well so that's kind of cool that they have a lot of different widgets but for today we're just going to go over the basics of everything and just kind of show you what it is that I do to use this functionally but if you would like me to show you how I set up my notion as far as just making it look cute and how you can put in different widgets for yourself I can definitely do a video on that but going on over into the today's task section so this is probably my like most used section of the whole entire thing and this is basically my brain dump section so anything that I need to remember whatsoever I don't know about you but for some reason like as a hairstylist like my brain just genuinely doesn't work 99% of the time. So if I think of something, I immediately need to write it down. So I go into the app onto my phone and I can add any kind of tasks that I need to have done. But for this specific portion, we're going to be on the computer. So the same exact things work on the phone, but this one, so let's just say I need to film two videos today, which I actually am doing right now. So we'll put film two videos and then you can put a lot of different options on here. And then I have my notion set up to where I can put this into my planner meaning it's going to let me have a date so all of my dates are set up as pages so I'm just going to say that I need to do this on Saturday September 10th and then it will link automatically to the planner that I have below and so I'll show you guys that here in a little bit and there's a lot of different things so you can put whether this is like a high impact to your life what it will improve so there's lots of different things that you can put on here so you can basically organize your notion and your planner to show you a list of all the things that you need to have done in order of priority or in order of what they're going to affect in your life. And so I found that really cool because it's unlike any other to-do list app out there. It's much more intuitive and I really enjoy using it just because my life is a little complicated. <laughs> So I need to film two videos and then we'll just add one more thing on here just so I can show you guys the gist of it. So let's just say I need to update my YNAB budget because I probably need to do that as well. And we're going to put that under tomorrow and then we'll go down here and add it to the planner for Sunday, September 11th. All right, and so there are plenty of different things on here that you can do. And then if I needed to make a couple of notes under YNAB, like I need to call someone to set up budgeting, then you can put that under there and that will kind of let you click on it. So anything that you have added and to today's date is going to show up under today's tasks. And then I have down here a weekly to-do list and that's going to show you anything that you have to do for the week. So scrolling on down from today's hub, we're getting into the income tracker. So this I have it set up to where it's not actually showing anything right now, but I do have it to where it's set up for anything with today's day. So I'm going to do a test income. So here I would typically put Begaro or PayPal, wherever this person paid me. So we're gonna put Begaro and then we'll say that it was $536. And then this is just whether it was my income or my husband's income so we'll put it under me and then we'll put it under services you can also add more tags under what it would be so booth rent whatever you want to say there you can add any notes for what it was that the person paid with or anything like that and then over here I have the 
system that it came from. So I will just put Bagaro under that. And so anything with today's day is going to show up on here, but let's just say you create it to where it only shows today's income and today is not the 10th, then it's not going to show you anything anymore. It will take that away. So it's pretty cool that you can kind of see any income like that on your tracker. We'll go ahead and move on down to the weekly planner. So if there's anything that comes up and you actually have the time to put it into your inbox under this week, then here's where you would do that. And you can pretty much update this to whatever dates you want it to be. Mine personally only shows anything for the week, like pretty much today until a week from now. And so I'm not overwhelmed with this crazy to-do list that I have to keep up with. And I really like having that there. And so anything that I put into here and put under the planner, so let's go ahead and put this under today as well. So anything that I put on the planner is going to show up down here under weekly planner. So there's a bunch of different ways that you can look at this. You can look at it how I do in a board view, or you can look at it under a calendar view. And then there is this table, task view, habit view, and this is something that I don't use but so moving on down to the weekly planner it's going to show you a bunch of different views but I typically keep mine under the board view because I don't use a lot of these different views specifically for the week just because I feel like this shows me the most so you can see if I go to September 10th then it's going to have my tasks for the day underneath there same thing for September 11th so if I click on this it's going to show me all my to-do lists for the day and underneath there is a place where you can put your your meal plans for the day, what you're grateful for, your daily affirmation. So anything like that, you can fill out underneath your day-to-day -day life. And then you also can scroll down and you will have your monthly calendar. So under your monthly calendar, you're going to have each day and you can click on that day and it will show you the exact same thing we just looked at. So there's lots of different ways that you can look at this and I really enjoy doing that as well. So moving on down to the monthly calendar, we have four different views of the calendar. So we're going to have just the regular one, which is what we were working on before. That one is connected to your to-do list and then also your weekly calendar. So this one will just have your basic daily to-dos on it. And then this one is going to show my YouTube schedule. So that I like to keep on the top because it is most important to me. And then we'll go on over to productivity. I don't typically use this very much, but it does have the option where you can put in how many hours you plan to work versus how many hours you did work and so it will show you how productive you were for the day um, and then we can move on over to habits so this is just a habit tracker and it's also under your daily view and you can check these boxes if you did these things and then it will show you over underneath the day that you're on whether or not you checked off those habits for the day so that's pretty much my life hub section for this and now we're going to move into my spending tracker and then I will get into the content map and everything else. All right, moving on over from my life dash, we're going to get into my assistant daily hub. So this is probably my second most used portion of this Notion page. So at the top, I pretty much just have rules for my assistants and pretty much things that just need to read and just remember on a daily basis because there is a lot of different tasks and moving parts within their job. And so we like to just keep a good task sheet so that we know that we're staying on track. And then underneath I pretty much create a to-do list for anything that they need to do throughout the day and they can slide these things over from in progress to complete depending on what they get done. I do work with two separate assistants so it's really important that we're all on the same page and we know what we're working on so this is the easiest way for us to keep track of everything and so basically you can see we have the to-do list here and anything that they are currently doing they can drag and drop it to wherever it needs to be and so we have all of these different items on here and then anything that I need added to it I will just add to the to-do list and drag whatever is the most important to the top that they know and they can also create comments underneath so you can see that she was making a video with the corn sound so she was already making that one for me and that could go under it's in progress so we're not super great at keeping track of all of those things but that being said this is the perfect to-do list 
was for us and our system. We are doing a video as far as what my assistants do in a day. And so if you have questions about what an assistant does and what it's like to be a salon assistant, then make sure to comment those below or send me a DM so we can make sure to include those in our next video. And then we're going to move on over to the next section of my Notion dashboard and that is going to be my inbox. So this is a larger section of what you saw on the homepage. So you saw the daily to-do list and the weekly to-do list and this is the master list. So this kind of goes under the getting things done method with the inbox but basically everything in here is anything that has ever come to my brain whatsoever. And so we have everything listed under here and you can put it into the planner just like I said before. So basically how it works is you type out what you think that you need to have done under the item portion. So this one I put a scheduled tax appointment and it's not high priority right now because it doesn't need to be done until January, but I do need to do that. And so you can put the date over here and once a week I will go through this list and see if there's anything that's high priority that needs to get done and I will put it into the planner. I'm someone that doesn't really like to add things to my planner until I know for sure that it needs to get done on a certain date. And so after that I will go through and add tags. So basically there are plenty of different different tags under here and you can create your own, but these are just the ones that work with my life. So if there's something that maybe like I someday would like to do it, but I might not ever get it done, then it's going to go under someday. But if there's something that I'm like for sure going to do, then I'm going to put that under a different category. And so that way I know for sure when that needs to get done. And then the other thing is you're going to put under this, whether it's work, home, or an errand. So you're going to know you can create a view where it's only errands and it's going to show you these are all the things that you can do while you are out and about and you don't have to be at home to do them you don't have to be at work to do them same thing with at home you pretty much get the gist so pretty much anything that you need to have done in your life and you have like a specific place to do it then you can see that by the tag that you put on your list so so that's pretty cool that you're able to kind of show things by what tags that you have under there and pretty much anything that you want to customize under this planner is going to be under the master list section it is my absolute favorite part of this whole notion setup so from there we're going to move over to my weekly reset routine and this is going to be the page that I kind of go through on every Sunday when I'm getting ready for a new week so basically you're going to get into the first section which is the life reset section and if it is the new month or new quarter I'm going to go through those monthly and quarterly resets I'm not going to jump into those pages today because because I didn't actually create those and so I don't want to show somebody else's work but if you are interested I can definitely link those for you below and then we're going to reset any different routines that I have and just make sure that whatever that routine is whether it be my weekly reset routine my morning routine make sure that they look up to date and that's how I'm actually living my life currently because I do want to keep my notion as up to date as possible and then life notes are literally just anything that don't really fit into any category but I just want to write it down I will revisit that if there's something that was groundbreaking that I want to remember and then we get into get clear so this is literally just cleaning out everything. It's my desktop, it's my phone, pictures in my phone, it's screenshots, text messages I need to respond to, my email inbox, literally everything. And I will say this was the hardest part of this weekly reset for me to get into because I am someone with a very cluttered brain and life. And so for me to go through and clear out my email inbox every single week, it took me months to like get everything cleared out and just unsubscribe from things that I need to be into. So don't feel like this is something that you need to do right away or something that you need to be able to implement in one day because honestly, using a notion like this that's so in depth really does take some time to get set up, but you can take and choose what you like from this. And if this is too much for you, then there's no reason to have to do it. It's the best thing for me as a busy hairstylist to be able to do this. And so getting into Get Current 
sharing. This is going to be going into the inbox. Like I said, every single week I go into the inbox and then I will review all of my goals, my weekly planning, anything like that that's going to go with getting current on this like week ahead and knowing what I have coming up because that keeps me on track of things too and not being blindsided by something that kind of comes out of the way. And then of course, just my home life things that I need to do on Sundays, washing my hair, doing groceries, laundry, all of that stuff. So just so I don't forget to do anything. And honestly, I am such a to-do list girl. I love to check things off my to-do list. And so I am not mad at that whatsoever. So the other things that I have on my Notion are my spending tracker, which I'm not going to show you guys, but I did have my spending tracker on, oh no, that's a lot. I do have my spending tracker on my life dash typically. So it typically goes right underneath my income tracker. And that way I can just jot down anything that I've spent money on. It's just another way that I keep track of money other than YNAB. But personally, YNAB is so much better than using this spending tracker, I feel like, because it's just another way that I track my money and how I spend it. And so that's something that I'm able to do is go in there and just jot down anything that I've spent money on. And I really personally prefer using using YNAB, but if you would like a different way of using it, then creating something exactly like the income tracker that I showed you as a spending tracker is a really cool way of keeping track of your expenses and where categories you're over in. So next we're getting into the getting things done page. This page I do not use all that often, but it is a really cool way of kind of keeping track of everything that I need to do. And so pretty much we're under the high priority only things for my master list. So that's going to show you everything that I've checked off that I really need to do like pretty soon because I've been putting it off for a while and then up top you're going to have all these different pages that are backlinked so this trigger list is literally so awesome for doing a brain dump and that is something that I'll show you here in a minute because I literally use this probably every single week to remember things because like I said my brain doesn't work most of the time so having something to remind me of little things that I need to get done is a really great way of doing a brain dump and then that weekly reset page that we just went to the inbox, the master list, any goals or projects that I have going on, those monthly and quarterly resets, and then other someday lists. So things that I probably like need to get done eventually, maybe it's just really not that important to me, then I'll put it under this list as well. I don't use that one quite as often as I just put things in here all the time. So we're going to jump over to that trigger list. That should be the last thing that I'll show you from my Notion page. So this one is pretty much literally anything under the sun that I could think of. So things that I can buy, things that I need to do around the house, events I have coming up, anything to look into, papers that need to be filed, people that need to be contacted, my dog, my health, life management, literally anything that needs to be done or needs to be remembered is going to be on this list. And I will literally bring up this trigger list and bring out a piece of paper and I will just jot down every single thing that comes to my mind. And you would be surprised how many things you will remember that you had no idea needed to be done with this trigger list. So this is probably my number one, like most important thing in my notion, even though it's not the thing that like gets used the most, it is probably the best use of my time when it comes to notion just because there is so many things that I would probably forget if it wasn't for this page. All right, so the very last portion of this video is actually going to be cut into my next video, which will be my content creation calendar as a hairstylist and salon owner. I know that the number one thing with being a hairstylist and salon owner is creating content. It is literally the most difficult thing that we have to do because nobody told us when we graduated hair school that we were also going to have to be a photographer and an influencer. So if you are interested in making that the most easy it can possibly be, then make sure to give this video a like and I'll get that video up next. And subscribe to me so that you don't miss it because I post every Monday and Thursday. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and enjoy.